What's up guys, me on a back row video today. Obviously I just uploaded my uh, race review to the Infinity Series race at Watkins Glen. Excuse me. Go ahead and go check that out. Make sure to leave a like, drop a like, and subscribe. I'm sorry. But now we've got some diecast reviews to do. Um, these came in the mail today. Um, from Serby Diecast, of course. Uh, a little later than I wanted to, but... Um, I did hear that uh, they had been dealing with some staffing issues recently and you know being a Walmart employee myself and knowing that feeling um, you know it's I, I get it you know everybody's dealing with that so no fault to them I'm glad I got my die cast and uh, funny enough actually um, this won't be the one that I'm reviewing uh, for this video but I actually uh, ordered one that I already had, um, and that was the Haley, that was the Haley Deegan truck. I completely forgot that I had it coming on pre-order, so uh, that happened. But anyway, that is not what we are here to review. But we are going to review a truck diecast if I can get it out of the box here, and that's going to be Spencer Boyd's number twenty Plan B Sales Veterans Chevy for Young's Motorsports. And I honestly am surprised. I I cannot believe I did not have this diecast on pre-order. Um, but obviously picked up through Circuit Diecast. And with getting these diecasts, um, one other thing I want to mention, and this is why this is a you know part of the the code that you you can use, which is ANJJ, to get free shipping on orders of twenty dollars or more at Circuit Diecast, is whatever is when you use that code to get that free shipping, whatever you paid. Um, it basically gets turned into credits that I can use to buy diecasts. So uh, it's basically a help me help you kind of thing. And it's it's really awesome. I, I'm proud to be a part of it. Um, along with the likes of Diecast Buffet, OBB, and so many others. Um, with all that being said, let's go ahead and let's get the diecast out of the box and get on the review. Obviously, we don't normally see Spencer Boy diecasts get made. Um... I'm trying to think. I think we've seen a few get made in the 124 scale. Um, the one that I can remember off the top of my head, I think he has one in Xfinity. Yeah, I think he does. I, I don't remember. Somebody let me know in the comments. Uh, but anyway, so here's the diecast out of the box. Obviously, it's a veteran's truck. You know the paint scheme, and this is something that Spencer Boyd and uh, the Young's Motorsports guys they do a lot. Uh, obviously, with the help of Plan B Sales. Um, I'm sponsoring this and god damn holy shit that yeah that decal is folded that that decal right there is folded holy crap look at that right there good lord but anyway as I was saying you know I think this might be the first time we've had a Spencer boy die cast made in the 164 scale um, which again is really awesome to see and it's awesome to see these Spencer Boyd diecasts get made. It's nice to see the smaller teams get diecasts made for them. Obviously, you have all the names on the back. You can't really read them. Um, also, I think... Oh, you know, okay, no, that's part of the flag decal. Okay, my bad. Um, but yeah, so as far as Spencer Boyd goes, I mean, you know, he's not a name that you see up near the front, obviously. Um, but... Wait a minute. I actually want to think here. Actually, now that I think about it, um, yeah, no, he has a win in Talladega in the trucks. Yeah, he does, because, um, if I remember correctly, the guy that originally won that race, which I think was Johnny Sauter, um, got penalized, um, for, uh, forcing somebody under the double yellow line on the last lap there, so Spencer Boyd, um, so he's actually a winner in the truck series, which, that completely, that just completely dawned on me. Uh, but anyway, so yeah, just to add that to this. So, I mean, it's not a win that, you know, maybe you maybe would have expected, obviously being that it is also at a restrictor plate, but still, a win's a win, and Spencer Boyd having that W from a couple of years ago uh, is really freaking cool. And honestly, I just kind of hope for the best for him. I mean, you know, again, he's not somebody you see up near the front all that often, but, or really at all for that matter. But you do see him out there, and he's he's just trying his hardest to do what he can do. And it's, you know, it is nice to see him get rewarded, I guess you could say, in diecast form. And for the team, 
uh, for Young's Motorsports to get uh, rewarded in diecast form is just pretty freaking awesome. So, with all that being said, thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts down below. And as always, please make sure to, again, drop a like and subscribe. And I'll see you all next time. Peace.